Steve Marcus knows how to call the shots on set. He's directed everything from TV specials to sports games. Today, he's shooting a national commercial. On set, um, what is your job? Uh, to direct the whole commercial, decide the action, decide the camera shots, work with George on the uh, on the lighting, get his get his uh, get his um, yeah get his input on that. Directors see a project through from start to finish. The shooting is really the easiest part. It's all the uh, pre-production. Okay. Meetings with the advertising agency, going over the storyboard. Two times we're at this house trying to figure out what the shots are going to be. Then there's castings involved, things like that. So uh, right now we're just following a plan that we set up days earlier. So I, I know exactly where the shots are. Steve's company, Marcus Productions, works with clients to create commercial spots and videos. As far as the client's actually here today, right? The ad agency, yeah. So how much do they have input in which what? direction no, you go? No. Every job is different. They have a lot of input. They created the storyboard. They created the script. My job is to give them the director's input, to okay. give them ideas. I decided after looking at the board how I want to shoot it, gave them some suggestions. They liked so them. They so they from your suggestions. Yeah. You won't need a college degree to succeed as a director. Steve says experience is your way in. If you want to get in the business I'm in and you can get a job at an ad agency or a TV station or a private production company and get in and make contacts. I worked for two years for nothing as an intern. My parents thought I was crazy. When I started in this business, um, I was working in TV since I was 16 years old, working at a TV station, then a production company. Many aspiring directors take courses in TV production. Steve suggests studying psychology. You're going to work with all kinds of people in this business, some people with big egos, and, and no self-esteem, and you got to know how to handle everybody. You got to know how to handle people on a set. Keep it light, tell some jokes, keep, every, keep everybody happy, and feed the crew good. <laughs> Food. After a full day on set, Steve still has lots to do. And I look at uh, all the footage, all the shots. I look at my script, the script notes that were taken on the set. While we're shooting, we're making notes: good take, bad take. And I capture all the footage we probably had. An hour's worth of footage for the 60-second spot to do a um, director's cut. And we'll start doing the graphics and um, music and things like that. Get ready to pay your dues if you want to make a name for yourself in this competitive field. Started doing commercials for $800, $1,200, to $3,000, 10000 We've done commercials for over $200,000. Our freelance directors, on, on a bigger scale, they could make ten dollars to $15,000 a day. Steve says the pay can be very rewarding, but it's his love for the production business that keeps him coming back for more. Yeah, I haven't worked a day in my life for the last 30 years. I love what I do. You know, sometimes you'll work an 18-hour day. Sometimes you'll go a week and you don't even shoot anything. It's a strange business. If you think you've got what it takes to make it on set, then reach for the success of directors like Steven Spielberg. He's won Academy Awards for Schindler's List and Saving Private Ryan. After all the hard work is done, let's check out the finished product. Roll it, Dan.